Cedric was saying, I started smoking about 10 years ago. Um, I used to like to look at my godfather. He would smoke cigars and smoke pipes and it just looked so, so sophisticated and elegant to me. Right. And I've always loved the smell of cigars. So I'm actually in Chicago now and I was here about 10 years ago visiting my family for a family reunion and all the male cousins on my side of the family were smoking and that's how I started um, indulging in it. And I, I haven't looked back since. And like said, said um, I am one of the admins for Fat Ash. I love the group. Me personally, I think it's the best group on Facebook right now. Um, I'm glad that you're a part of it as well. Um, so we can have back and forth since it's just the three of us right now. Hopefully we'll get more people. If you have any questions as I go along, by all means, just let me know and I'll stop. Okay. 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 And for me, um, this week I'm talking about cigar etiquette, do's and don'ts of cigar smoking. Um, an important thing of cigar etiquette to me is some people don't like to ask questions and they feel a little embarrassed for the first time going into um, a cigar lounge or a cigar shop. I always say ask questions if you don't know. There's no such thing as a, a, a dumb question at all. Um, and that's just me personally, how I feel on that. Um, I'm also a firm believer that when you go into a cigar lounge and you patronize, I'm kind of back and forth on this. They say don't bring your own cigar. Some places are a little pricey, and some places I will take my own cigar, but at the same time, I will still patronize and I will still purchase a cigar, or I'll still buy um, a cocktail in between, um, just to show that patronage when I go in there. There are going to be some places that if you don't buy a cigar from them, they will charge you to um, cut and toast um, a cigar for you. So just so you know that, just in case you didn't have, you didn't, you didn't know that in the beginning. Um, one of my pet peeves is the person that always says they smoke Cubans. And a lot of times the person will say that to me, and I'm like, okay, so what Cuban do you smoke? And they'll just say all Cubans. There's more cigars out there that are Cubans that are not Cubans, that are more cigars out there that taste as well or even better than a Cuban um, cigar. Another thing that I would say is if you're smoking your cigar, um, when it's time to put it out, just don't smash it in the cigar because when you do that, you might get ashes everywhere. Um, me personally, I will let mine die out on its own or I'll roll it from side to side um, until, it, until it goes out. So are you all familiar with that as well? Yeah, I, I, normally, um, I normally do the same. I just kind of um, let mine sit until it go out or whatever um i ended up i started smoking probably almost about 10 years ago as well okay. and i didn't do it as often because um i had made 30 and i was like at essence fest with my sister and my okay. best friend All right. and at that point i had never drank or smoked anything in my life and my sister was like you 30 years old now you got to do something and she had a cup of hurricane in her hand and I can literally <laughs> smell the alcohol from like 50 feet away. And I was I'm like, familiar uh -uh. with the hurricane. Yeah. And I was like, uh -uh, I don't trust myself because I've always been the designated driver for all my friends. I was like, you know, everybody, all the time. everybody get drunk and I just go pick them up or whatever. So <laughs> I've always just been the sober, you know, you know, friend. So I was like, well, she was like, well, you got to do something. So I was like, well, let's get a cigar because we're on bourbon. And so I did that and it was pretty cool. And okay. at the time we had just started a social club, um, me and Latara and some other ladies. And so whenever I would go out and be like with them socially, like out just like that, like somewhere like to be out in New Orleans or hanging out and everybody else was drinking, I would just start, you know, smoking a cigar, kind of just to have something to do while everybody else was drinking. And then when I got with my husband, he smoked like, um, he smoked cigarettes and stuff and all that, you know, whatever. And so that was just something for us to kind of do together. And that's when I kind of started smoking more. So at first, when I first started smoking, like you said, you just go in there, you don't know what you're doing. And I was just picking up cigars. I was just, you know, picking stuff because of the labels were pretty or whatever. And, you know, and but over time, I realized, you know, when I found out about the cigars and I started studying different things, I, I like okay. more of a mild right. to medium. 
Uh, I don't like real full cigars because I realized it used to have my throat kind of all, you know, clogged up the next day, you know, be, or whatever, stuff like that. So just over the years, you know, I, you know, learned different things. And I started, because at first I would just, you know, smoke like a little flavor cigar, but, you know, I've learned to expand, you know, things. And there then you I started traveling. Yeah. yeah. And I started traveling with my job and I was traveling like the state and I was finding, um, you know, different places. And, you know, when I was, I ran up on this like a uh, cigar sports bar for the first time. And I was like, oh my God, like, this is like the bomb. And what was just intriguing to me about the cigars is like, like you say, with the sophistication that comes along with it. Um, I was in a setting with like probably about 10 or 15 men. And we okay. were just having like really good conversation where nobody trying to holler at nobody, nothing. It was just very sophisticated, you know, laid back and a beautiful you know, experience. Yeah. And it was just, you know, so that was just like, okay, this is something that I could do, you know, because ain't nobody in here getting drunk, falling over, doing no stupid stuff. You know, it was just like a very sophisticated thing. So that's why it's I a lifestyle. Like, yeah. So that's why I started kind of taking a liking to it. And then I, you know, just made me a little she shed at home. And so I just started, you know, look at you. Open in the backyard. And I was kind of, so that's what I did. And Right after we got married, um, me and my husband, our birthday and our anniversary is like all in the same week. And I did like a wine and cigar under the stars type thing or whatever. Okay. And so, you know, I kind of turned a couple of my little friends on or whatever here and there. But, you know, that's just, you. That, was, that was just my thing with it or whatever and stuff. And so when I found out recently that Latara had started smoking, I was like, girl, we got to get together. But at the time I was pregnant. And so, you know, I had to wait. To after I had the baby and then I was breastfeeding too for a while so I really just actually started back smoking because the last time I had smoked was New Year's Eve of 2019 and so I just smoked for the first time maybe like maybe a month ago so um yeah it had been a while for me but um I just like to say the love the sophistication of it it's real chill and you know cool and stuff like that and like it's something I could just sit and do by myself right, right. or whatever and like I say just I just love like they say the conversation and stuff that comes with it you know, you know being around sophisticated people and stuff like that so yeah. okay. um another thing that I wanted to talk about too is if you go to a a cigar lounge or a cigar shop it has a humidor mm-hmm and, and some people do this and I, I just I don't under, I understand it but I don't um don't sniff the cigar and put the cigar to your nose and, and try to smell it because now you decide you don't want this cigar. The next person <laughs> right. is going to pick it up or don't want to pick it up. Exactly. And I'm, those, I'm sure some of these things that you already know, but I'm just going over them um, just in case, because I'm still learning a lot myself as well. Um, for me, I try to have the time to smoke a full cigar. I know some people like at mid break during work to smoke one, but I don't think you can get the full embrace of a cigar if you're taking just a short break. Um, so just try to take the time to smoke it. Um, one that's going to last you a good hour, hour and a half. If you don't finish it, um, some people might cut it and put it back in their humidor to finish it later. Um, me personally, I don't do that because you might not get the same flavor from that cigar um, than when you first started off smoking it. Right. Any questions so far for me? Simone, no, ma'am. You back no. there? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. No and then um, as far as the ash go, just make sure you always have your ashtray in front of you. Um, if you're not in an ash contest, um, I would suggest just making sure you tap it every now and then because you don't want that ash to um to, to fall in your lap. Right. You don't, you like don't want that to happen. <laughs> and that... <laughs> That has happened to me so many times. I actually did it trying to make a fat ash or a long ash, and it will fall into my lap every single time. I have not gotten to that to that point yet. Right. Let me ask you something. I was reading when I first got in the group, because when I first started, I would always knock the ash out. I think I read that having the long ash makes the smoke better. You know what? It to me, when you have the longer ash, I think the smoke gets stronger. Okay. Um, if, if that can make sense to you. So yeah, I, I can see that. Um, but it's also because you're getting close to the end of that stick. Okay. 
Yeah, that you're going to get a, a stronger smell. I mean, a stronger uh, taste to it. I know because there's some cigars I'll start smoking like a, a Rocky Patel if I start smoking that or I think even a punch. Um, it starts out mild to medium. And then once I get closer to the end, whether I have an ash or not, it gets more of a, um, a medium to full body for it. Okay. I just did want some punch cigars on the cigar bed. I'm waiting on them to come in this week. Okay. Is that is that you, Latara? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because <laughs> I see somebody else join, but I can't see their name. Kiyoko. How you doing, beautiful? Good. How are you? I am good. Your day going okay? It is. Trying to stay busy since we haven't been able to go anywhere for the past seven days. Where are you I'll located? I'll be able to get out tomorrow. I'm in Memphis. Okay. Memphis. Oh, yeah, they but snow. I'm from Goldsboro. So are you all snowed in there as well? Yeah, we were snowed in. Okay. So any yeah, questions for you so far? In. No, I am finally up here. I'm listening. I grew up around cigars. My dad smoked cigars. He used to send me in to get them. Monte Cristo's. Oh, wow. and, oh yeah. He would and hold the nub, just hold on to it forever. So, so he's a Cuban guy. Yeah. So okay. I grew up around those. So I did I got into it in my 20s around okay. 20 and then I kind of slacked off when I had my children and now I'm starting to get back into it again okay so, so. What, what is what is your smoke of choice you know what I'm still trying to find my favorite I am okay I have been dabbling let's see when did I really pick it up in 97 but then I dri I dripped it off again but then I picked it up some years a few years back so I'm still trying to find that right one for me okay so I like some with flavor okay but I still try and do like what I'm used to the smell and that's my dad's okay the Monte Cristo so and I just try to play around with those and then also I have his pipe so he, he passed away in October but he was 98 oh, oh and, that was a beautiful life yeah so I have his cigar I mean his uh his pipe. his pipe now my mm -hmm. now my oldest son who is 30 has been smoking pipes for the past maybe six years now okay so i'm i'm i had i kind of schooled him on what to do <laughs> i was proud of that i had my cutter i have no idea what happened to my cutter so i had several cutters but he he prefers a pipe over a cigar okay so i i'm like do your thing Okay. And I, um, I, I just recently started smoking pipes myself about a, maybe, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a different, it's a different change. And that's what I'm saying. I, I love the smell. One of my two favorites is the cherry. And then I have mm -hmm. another one that's a Jamaican rum that smells so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's different, but it's, it's just as smooth as a cigar is to me. Exactly. And my dad let me try his cigar when I was young. Okay. And he would let me try the pipe. So he sighed and turned green. So he was like, oh boy. So I, you know, <laughs> my mom would have had a fit. So I never really, you know, took place part, you know, I never did anything around my mom or anything. So I think she just now found out I actually like cigars. And she looked oh, wow, at me like, too cute. <laughs> really? I'm like, I'm 53 years old. And you're, okay, fine. But. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like my mom. <laughs> my yeah, no. It's you like, know, a lot of things our parents don't up? find out until we become adults. I, I know, but this age is like, if I get another, I don't have many tattoos, but it's like, if I get a tattoo, it's the same thing. I get looked at like, you have a tattoo? What? Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. It sounds <laughs> like my mom. <laughs> So once I, I haven't get a house built, so once I move into my house, I'll really be able to sit on my back porch. Not in the house, but sit on my back porch and smoke a cigar. Oh, you're going to love the back porch. Oh, yeah. you, you are going to love the back porch, mm -hmm. yes. It's, it's, I it's ride motorcycles, so I bring them with me. All right, oh. look at you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I bring them with me. So now I'll be able to bring them with me more, and I'm like, yes. So that is I'm awesome. picking it back up. That's why I'm in here with you guys. That's why so you smoking in and you a rider. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. So I plan on taking hopefully COVID. I'll have my shot and COVID won't be so bad. I want to come home. 
which is North Carolina. And I want to bring my bike with me so I can go ride with my brother and some other okay. people that I know. So. That's funny. I'm actually um, in Chicago right now helping my brother pack. He's actually moving to North Carolina next month. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, he's moving to Charlotte. Like, <laughs> everybody's like, why don't you move back to North Carolina? Well, I'm here now and my mom's still alive. So I'm just, and my baby sister stays here too. So I'm just like, yeah. okay, I'm here, but it's midpoint. I can go out of the way. Okay. Because <laughs> I have All a child right. out in, in Vegas too. So it's like, yeah, I can go out of the way. And that's, that's so. actually where I live at. I've been in Vegas for 19 years now, going on 20. <laughs> My son, one of my other sons is out there. My other son was actually stationed out there. So he's okay. in Okinawa. He's in the safest place in the whole world. Yeah. That is one of the safest places. But yes, I, I plan on coming out that way. So now I know you're out there. All righty. I'll see you when you get here. I will. I'll be out there. I'll look you up. So another tip that I wanted to go over you with over you with you all, I'm sorry, is um a lot of people like to dip their cigars and whiskey and my theory on that is if you want a flavored cigar go get a drew estate go get um fat bottom betty go get sweet alice go get a tabac um because to me personally i think if a person took the time to roll a cigar for me i want to actually experience the the cigar that was made especially for me i don't want to i don't want to dip it um and that's just personally how i feel uh latara simone with that too um i've never even tried to like if i um i've had them where they've been like dipped pre-dipped or whatever in like uh -huh. whiskey or anything or bourbon or whatever but i've never well of course because i ain't no drinker no way so no she's I've, not <laughs> <laughs> and um so yeah I, I i i feel you on that with the um if they've already rolled i just want to like taste it how they rolled it or whatever I, I ain't trying to add nothing to it or whatever so i agree with that dipping it this latara dipping it in the whiskey that wouldn't like take away from the flavor or mess it, it up some type of way it, it, exactly and that's why i was saying if a person wanted a flavor cigar or infused cigar just purchase one because it will take away from the flavor that was rolled into the actual cigar for you in okay. that paper for you yes it, yeah, it will take away I from it and I've seen people do that and I've I've never I've never understood it, but to each his own, but that's just one one edit that I will not I will not uh, just put my, whiskey, in my put my whiskey in a glass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. Hey, how you doing, beautiful? Hey Sherry, I'm so sorry. How you I don't doing? Know what happened? I had that's the okay <laughs> that that so is okay saying, i'm just i'm just I glad think you I got here. in at like 6 45 and i was just waiting and waiting and then i started looking at the link like this don't look like the right <laughs> link me it's not right so here i am hi ladies i hope you all are well Sunday evening. so this this is mia um she's another beautiful admin in our group this is the one that i was telling you about earlier when i told you about that i didn't personally have a cigar with me because i'm still recouping from covid so i'm not smoking yet um mm -hmm. but mia um is an expert and she can let you know how to cut a cigar how to toast a cigar there's several different ways to cut it so i'll let mia have it right now and she can explain all that to you hi ladies hi Hello. Um, it's always uh I, I always say that i'm i'm so happy to be a part of the fat ash family because um i've learned quite a bit being um, not even just part of the, the Fat Ash family itself, but the admin group. Um, you learn a lot just being around so many people who, yeah. who know what it is they're doing. And for me, if I'm going to do something, I want to do it right. And I don't want to just be one of those people who are just, <laughs> you know, we just smoke. We don't know what we're doing. Right. We how to do it. We just, it just look cool. I'm not one of those trend following kind of people. Um, so for me, once I started on cigars, I'm actually I'm actually a newbie to the cigar um, to the cigar game. I've only been smoking for about nine ten months now. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do it right. So the first thing I did after smoking a cigar the wrong way, I ran to these groups to try to learn and try to figure out how to do things the correct way. Um, the first Sisters of the Leaf um, call we did was the one I did on um, the lighting, the toasting and um, the cutting of the cigar. Um, and I did the flat cut on my stick. 
Uh, I do have a stick. I was gonna light it up. I was like, I, you know, I was <laughs> trying to wait what was going on. Get in this call, you know. But I was like, I, if, if it don't pop off in ten minutes, man, <laughs> the stick gonna be lit when they let me in there. Well, that's <laughs> right. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, hold on, ladies. I'm so All sorry. Right. I live across the street, like directly across the street from a firehouse. And uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it, it goes down. So yeah. But for the purpose of this video, I do have a um I have a diesel tonight is what I'm smoking, a torpedo. And um I'm gonna do a V cut on this one just because I, I like the V cut on my the torpedo a little better than doing the flat cut. So I have my V cutter and I'm just gonna go across the top and take the top off. And it gives you that nice V cut on there. Okay. And as far as the toasting, when you're toasting your stick, um, I know a lot of people, well, I, I've seen several different people do it several different ways. Some people toast it from the inside um, and they'll go out to the outer. Um, for me, I just kind of like to start a, to get the outer. As far as my toasting, I like to burn the outer so that the, um, to kind of bind the sealer um before I actually light it so I'm going to toast it now I'm just going to go all around and I don't like to have the full heat of the flame on the stick because it'll it, it kind of burns it really quick so I just take that that top part of the heat and kind of go around the edges I don't want this whole I don't want all of that I just want that that right. top part <laughs> that heat just using the heat and I'm just going to go around and toast the foot of my cigar hmm. Go buy me one of those. <laughs> right. <laughs> I yeah, love the it. Torches oh, yeah. are nice. I, I, I collect those. Those are nice. And sis, um, me, I want to say thank you because I like the fact that you chose a torpedo for the night because a lot yes, of people are very indecisive on how to cut a, a torpedo cigar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I said for, for this stick, I use the V because um, I usually when I use my flat on the, I usually cut more off than I need to. Okay. And so with that V cut, I'm I'm not gonna do that. It's just gonna it's gonna give me the the cut out I want and I desire. Um, so now that I have it toasted, I'm gonna go ahead and light it. And to light it, you kind of use the same heat from the, the uh, your your torch or your lighter. You don't want to use all you know the full heat of the lighter. You just want that. I'm gonna pull it back in. So I'm just gonna go the same way, 360 degrees all the way around while I'm in here. Well, not inhaling, <laughs> but while I'm pulling in. <laughs> We're not inhaling, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not dying tonight. We're not dying tonight. <laughs> Please don't. Sweet. <laughs> you just want a nice light on there. You don't want it to, you know, burn your wrapper. Just get a nice light on it. And you should have a lit cigar. That's a nice toast, Mia. <laughs> cheers. Cheers to you ladies on this beautiful Sunday night. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hate that so I missed much. some of the other, uh, the other etiquette that you um, you mentioned, but I'm definitely going to have to, after the call, I'm going to go back when it's when it's up on YouTube and, and, and catch up on some of the things you all already, you already mentioned, Sherry. I hate that I missed that. That's okay. I know you had a lot going on when I talked to you, and I just appreciate you coming in and doing that part for me since I'm I'm, I'm not smoking as of yet. Yes, ma'am. I got your back. Know. I got your back, sis. I appreciate I, uh, you. Moesha, I hope I, uh, Mo I'm not sure. Miss Arnold, <laughs> I don't want to mess up your name, but hi, and welcome to the call. See, I can't even... You said Moesha? That's weird. I can't see that up here on my screen. Oh, yeah, I see uh, someone else has joined. It says it's M-O-S-H-E, Arnold. I don't want to pronounce it. I'm just going to call you Mo, Miss Mo Arnold. Oh, okay. I see it um, now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Latar, you have a question? No, ma'am. I was no. going to ask what is toasting, but she explained it. Okay. And that, that was her purpose of being on here. So I'm glad she answered that for you. Yes, ma'am. Is Simone okay back there? 
Yeah, I was gonna ask the same thing, um, <laughs> but uh, I never heard. I had never heard that terminology before because, like I say, when I just started smoking, it was just something to do, just to you know, just to blend in with everybody drinking. And mm-hmm. like I said, I'd never been, you know, a drinker of smoking. I had even tried to do hookah, but because I had never smoked cigarettes or anything, I don't even know how to inhale. So that's why cigars are perfect for me because you don't have to inhale or whatever. Right. And so right. that works for me. And see, and, and, and that's the reason we have the 101s. I, and I love that we have them. And that's another reason why, like Mia said, I, we love the Fat Ash group because you learn so much from everybody. And like I mentioned before, I'm still learning myself. Like with Mia with the, with the torpedo, there's several different ways to cut it. And with her mm-hmm. cutting it in a V, I wouldn't have never thought to do that. I never knew the proper way to cut a torpedo. So I'm glad mm-hmm. that was something that I learned myself tonight. I love the fact that they decided mm-hmm. to do these uh, these one-on-ones as well, because like I said, if we're, if we're going to do it, uh, we want to do it right. We, we want to do know, it right. You know, we don't want to be in cigar lounges and you know, be be the one that's taking out cigar and tapping it all down. Oh, right. And that's the place, <laughs> you know. And, and that's you know, one that we, we went just, over too, sis. That's one that we yeah, went over. <laughs> yeah. So you you just kind of want a certain thing. Like etiquette is super important. Right. <laughs> super important. So. Um, tapping the cigar yeah. out, ashes going everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and no. people looking at you sideways. Like, right. <laughs> And you know, and that's and, and that's another thing too that I just thought about when you said that. When when you are smoking, and some people just don't get it, and I don't know why they don't. Some people feel that if you're in a cigar lounge or a cigar shop, you can blow your smoke in whatever direction you, you're in if you want to. Some people are there patronizing because they love just the atmosphere of it, or they might be there listening to the band and, and they don't smoke. So with, with that being said, I always tell people to blow your smoke in a direction where you see other people that are smoking. Don't blow it in somebody's face that's not smoking. That's 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 not a good look. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. When I when I go to a lounge, a lot of time I know we'll we'll take, you know, we'll have our own travel container with our own sticks or uh, different things. And sometimes I will have my own stick, but if I'm going right. to a lounge, I, I do like to uh, try to purchase. A stick from the lounge as well um, even if i'm not going to smoke that particular stick right that we like to um just you know just to patronize right yeah, yeah. and we went over that earlier too that's what we were saying that um because i won't lie a lot of times you'll go to a cigar lounge and those prices can be a little pricey anyway um, yeah i find what you're saying is very informative. like i said i grew up with my dad's doing it so by him being a smoker he didn't explain anything you just watch from the excuse the expression the old head and by watching my dad he was already he was already almost 50 when I was born so just imagine he's been doing that for a long time so just watching him is just him cut I just it's just one of those things you just do you just watch Mm -hmm. you just do you use a match you don't and that was before the fancy lighters expensive mm-hmm. lighters right use right. a match don't you dare light a lighter with a i mean use a lighter to light a cigar <laughs> really yeah i learned how to use them. i like they match the churches because it's easier or whatever so. is that latara or simone that was simone she was just talking to about the um light with the matches and how she learned to uh do that yeah but i, I always I did matches a, um, until I, I invested until they came out with the nicer um torches yeah I, I mean i always if if anything i'm gonna i will always keep matches and i'm not talking about the book of matches we're talking about the the box the, the yeah. Sti- yeah the box oh, matches. Yeah, the good matches. oh the good yeah that was back back okay yes ma'am <laughs> i i'm i'm from old school of it yes ma'am you use okay. the matches so i keep those around so if anybody lights up a, a cigar around me, I now look at them and I'm going, okay, wait, you doing what? Mm-mm, <laughs> hold on. I may not have a cigar on me, but you're not going to smoke a cigar around me. And when we say cigar, I mean a real cigar. And I, I do get upset with people that say, well, I'm, blo- I'm smoking a black and white. That is not a cigar. Baby. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that, that's not. That's a cigarette. Yeah. That's a cigarette. That's a cigarette, okay. That, I don't right. care what you say. That's a cigarette. 
And I'll, yeah. I'll just tell them, okay, so you'll have the headache in the morning and I won't. <laughs> so I, I'm like, let me, let me e- educate you on cigars. I just tell people the difference. Because it, it bothers me to see a man smoking a black and mild. He swear he is smoking a cigar and I'm going, no, darling. Go to a actual cigar shop and get you a real cigar. Right. And, and with that being said, too, um, at the same time, everybody's tastes or palates are different. So we have yes. those that like the flavor cigars and we have those that like the mild or we have those that like, like the bold. Um, and with that being said, we still want to be careful not to down a person's cigar choice, but in this matter, you're absolutely right. Uh, normally in the choices when I do it, it in the bike world, yes, ma'am. Yes, that is I not. have to, <laughs> I have to. Or if they, you know, get on me about a cigar and I'm going, well, what is that that you're smoking? Oh, it's a black, mm-mm, mm-mm. that's a headache, that's a headache. <laughs> that is a headache. Absolutely. So yeah. it's, it's, it's like, let, let me tell you the difference between do you really want to smoke a cigar well yes I do okay well the one I know off the top of my head is always going to be a Monte Cristo because yeah, that that's your, what my dad, your dad smoked yeah right and I wasn't even legal to go into buy him going and buy me a cigar okay and they sell it to me I guess because they knew my dad go buy him a cigar I'll go I was buying cigars before you were able to smoke cigars and seeing like with you when my cousins um when I started smoking 10 years ago, like you, I was smoking at the time. I didn't know how to um, toast a cigar. I didn't know that there was actually more than one way to cut a cigar, um, whether it was a yeah. cut, a punch. I didn't, I didn't learn any of that until I actually started going to um, cigar lounges. That's where I learned a lot at. Um, and then I also learned that when you're inside a humidor, that you're not supposed to smoke your cigars inside of a humidor. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of people don't, don't know that um, as well. Yeah. So I picked up a lot of mine from the cigar lounges as I got older. And <laughs> I've learned a lot since I've been inside the fat ash group. And I always <laughs> tell people, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Just, just ask. If we, right. we're, we're not, we're not going to learn if we don't know. So we, we, we have to ask those questions too. Because I, like I said, I, I didn't know. I didn't I know. Me one. I bought my first humidor. humidor. I don't know. Yay! Congratulations. And the wig. I am going to, because of what I saw in the, in the group, I'm going to bling it out. Okay. I saw somebody say they Make tried sure you to. Make you send us those pictures in the group and, and let us see how that I want to see that when you finish along. with it. Yeah. yeah definitely. Well, that's I what I see do. the finished product. That's what I do. So this that's my that's my that's what I do in my retirement as I call it. That's my I sad thing wait to, to do. See that. So. I know that's okay. going to be nice. All right. I bought it so I can have somewhere to put my stuff but also to put my cigars but to also to bling it out cuz I really like to do stuff like <laughs> that. So. Okay. I'm okay. sitting here doing something now so <laughs> that's why I keep looking down so don't pay me any mind I'm listening that's okay. now. be quiet and another etiquette too um and I don't know if some people are familiar with this one do not lick your cigar don't oh, don't don't so lick disgusting. your cigar um the the only time and I won't say lick your cigar I would suggest wetting your cigar is if it's burning unevenly and then you might want to wet your fingertip and then just um go around the side of it so it'll start burning correctly and evenly again but other than that yes we don't we don't lick the cigars I never understood that either I don't know if people you know do it, for their it could effects. be I'm sorry go ahead no I was just saying I don't know if people do it for the effects um if they think that it's going to help if they're um if the wrapping on it is dry I I don't I don't know the reason behind it but that, that's a definite no-no now, I do know um, a few people who um, who do it. And okay. Their, their reason behind it, uh, one of the guys who, um, my cigar mistress, Tanya Tassi, had this um, this group of us that she she brought together to kind of, you know, since the, once the pandemic hit and the lounges were closed, she kind of brought us together on house party. So we kind of, we will smoke together and uh, uh, kind of just have different conversations, kind of like that social lounge experiment so right one of the people who was uh, in the group with us um he was saying 
uh, with his cigars because we would notice he would just be smelling his cigar. He'll smell it for like five minutes. Like he would just sit there. And so what he would say was, it's the senses. You know, those, those your senses kind of- Trying to feel those notes you know, out that's you in can, the cigar. You can smell some of the, the notes different flavors in it. In it the, yeah, the spices And then sometimes, so I'm guessing for some people, even just kind of licking it. Okay. Kind of maybe help you maybe with some okay. of the flavor that I'm guessing. I don't know. You know. But I, I know sometimes a lot of people, I'll see them smelling, you know, and then some people will, I'll see them lick around the top just, and maybe- it's a now part of I'll, those senses that kind of now I'll smell up. my own personal cigar. Mm -hmm. Um, not like those that are that are picked one up and smell one inside of a cigar shop. I never understood that one, but as far as I will smell mm -hmm. my own, but I've I've never licked it to find out or just to, like you said to sense those notes that are about it that's in it. Now I've retro held to try to taste those notes, which is something that I'm still learning. Yeah, um, and I'll do well. my dry pull after I cut it. I will pull on it that dry pull before I toast it to kind of you know, see what I pick up before I even toast or light it. Um, but the licking of it, I mean, sometimes depending with my cap, I will just kind of, you know, wet the top okay. just a little to if my cap is dry. Okay, um, and that's what I was saying, unless it was dry. I couldn't see any yeah. other, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you know, the, you, you got the head, you know, you got to show a little love. That part got to be right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's something that I did see a lot of with the older gentleman. Not not the entire cigar, but like you said, the cap part at the top. They would always do that before they even smoke their cigar. That's something they did. And then after that, it was, I'm like, okay, I just go along with it. But I never saw them just take the whole cigar. That's no, no. But just doing the, the top part just to get it wet. And I would think back then, I, I, I would say that more care is into cigars you have more people smoking cigars now than you did then mm -hmm. you have more women smoking cigars so more care is involved in the making of the cigars even though I used to watch them make them in North Carolina a hand roll but they can get dry so mm -hmm. I can see where that that would come into play but not on every cigar right yeah right yeah. right so any other questions ladies <laughs> I have, How are you and Simone still there? Yes, ma'am, we're here, but I have a question. Is mm -hmm. there a way to know what's the best cut to use on a cigar? It, it to me, it depends on the on the cigar, and, and Mia can weigh on on this as well. Um, like some cigars, depending on how tight they're rolled, will depend on the cut on that because you want to make sure that you get a nice pull on that cigar, a nice draw on it. Um, you don't want to seem like you, and you can't right. you can't smoke on the yeah. cigar because it's because it's too tight. So it, it depends on the cigar and the roll of it. Um, like with Mia with the torpedo, um, she used a V cut. Yeah, and also with the um, Her, when I do when I did uh, my experience with the torpedo when I when I first did the cut I did like I said that flat cut and cut. that draw was really it was really hard to, and I'm thinking something's wrong with the stick. I'm not going to get this stick anymore because I can't. But in all in in all actuality, once I tried it again, I did a V cut to just kind of get a a deeper cut on it, and the pull was smooth and it, it was a lot better. Yeah. So okay. that um. But I think also too, sometimes it just comes with kind of doing what it is you, you kind of what you're like. comfortable with. Yeah, what you're comfortable yeah, with because a lot of people don't. With. They're not really able to cut that cap off with that flat the way it should be cut off. Um, I've even had instances where I've cut too too deep in and my whole, you know, it started to unravel on me right away with the flat. Um, but with that V cut, you're not really going to experience too much of cutting it wrong. Um, and the punch right. is where you can't really go wrong. Um, right. So and that's, and that's what I use actually my punch on the flathead. And for some of my thinner cigars, I use the, use the punch on that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, like it's, it's, it's what you're comfortable with. If you feel like one cut isn't working for you, then the next time you try that cigar, try a different cut. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's pretty much trial and error when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great question, though. Yeah, that was an awesome question. Anything else, Simone? No, I don't have any questions, but um, like I say, everything y'all saying like kind of makes sense. Like I say, it was just trial and error for me as well, like I said, because when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. 
But as I start like visiting, like you say, different cigar lounges and, you know, just talking to different people and, you know, that's how I learned different things. Like I didn't even know about like the little punch thing or whatever. I was, I think in New Orleans at a cigar shop and I didn't have my cutter and the man, all they had was like punches. And I was like, punch, what is that? And he showed me, I was like, how about that? I like that. So yeah, like I say, it's just trial and error. And I think too, like I say, it's just all about what you prefer because on certain cigars, like I may punch it, you know, um, I haven't experienced like the V cut because I don't have a V cutter. Um, I've always had like the flat cutters or a punch or whatever. So I'm gonna have to try that out. So appreciate the knowledge. Are you, now I know Latara's a part of Fat Ash. Are you a part of Fat Ash as well, Simone? Yeah, she actually put me in the group um, a couple weeks ago. That's when I realized that she had put me that she had started smoking. I was like, girl, we got to get together. Cause like I said, we used to hang out all the time but I was the only one that really she smoked. She was the it. smoker and I was the drinker. Right. Oh, and, wow. Um, <laughs> and then we had another friend that uh, started smoking because she was dating someone. Okay. Um, he's a smoker. So and he's a smoker. And that's so, who actually put me in it. Okay. And so, um, so me and her would like, you know, talk about it from time to time, but she was like the only woman that I was able to talk to. And so now that I got tired, I was like, yay. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it was warm today, so I called. I was like, "Girl, what you doing?" Because we ain't got together. We ain't smoked, you know, at all. So I was like, "I'm coming." So yeah, mm -hmm, that's what we're doing. Yep. And stand in the in the. Well, I'm I'm glad you are a part of Fat Ash because one thing about Fat Ash is um, we don't belittle anyone. We don't downplay anything. So if you have any questions anybody in the group because this and and I say this all the time this is the most awesome group to me I belong to several Absolutely. other groups and and this is my favorite by all means um it's, it's just so knowledgeable and educational and it's fun and everybody makes it fun so if you yeah. have any questions that weren't answered for you today um we have two other podcasts that were done previously um Mia did one as I mentioned and um mm -hmm. Toya she did one as well but if you just put the question inside the group someone will be more than happy to answer that for you too. Absolutely. Because I know even after each show, you're still going to have questions that we didn't come across or that I might've forgotten or you've forgotten as well. Yeah, well, just things that you might see or hear. You know, we're always, you know, watching and listening to different things. You might yeah. be in a lounge and see something. And yeah. A question might come up. Yeah. Whatever it is. <laughs> you know, we're we're yeah. definitely here to support each other. And um, I, I appreciate you ladies um, jumping on these calls. When you can, like I said, I know Sundays are usually that day where we, you know, we trying relax to get out and you with your family. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to do, you know, whatever it is you need to do to get the, your next week going. So we definitely appreciate you all, appreciate you all taking time out of your out Sunday of your to day. be here. Absolutely. This, and to me, this is a nice wind down for a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a nice yeah. wind down now that, that said, you Now that Sedge and Reg have started doing this, this usually Sunday, my Sundays are like packed. I don't even usually have time on a Sunday to come out and smoke a stick. So now this is like my excuse. This, this is, this is you your know, time. Get my this is your in. time. You know, I tell my kids before seven o'clock, don't y'all come out that door. Don't make those. I they know that's me right. Bad, <laughs> fed, <laughs> fed, fed. Don't come out that right. door once seven o'clock hit because I'm going to be busy. Okay? Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yes, this is a definite nice wine now. So I appreciate you all that came on today. Um, again, if you have any questions, or even if you want to go back and look at any of the um, the podcast that was done and you have questions that you've seen on there, just come back and bring it to the group and we'll, we'll gladly answer it for you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You all make sure you follow um, Reggie's podcast on YouTube. Uh, and uh, if you aren't already, uh, you don't already know where you can grab me some fat ash gear. Uh, fat and, ash and it's funny you should say that because I was just getting ready to remind Latara, her and I talked about that earlier. Latara, don't forget to order that fat ash gear. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And now mm -hmm. you in there, Simone, come on with it. Yes, I'm coming with it. I okay. was just trying to figure and out. I, I want to see them pictures with that fat ash myself. in the group. Yeah, like, we, we, love to, we love to see you all. I have my shirt. Your fat there you go. You know, we love it. <laughs> I already have my shirt. Okay. I've had it for a while. Well, you got to post it in the group. something to it. Okay. okay. When oh, I'm she done. Oh, hers out. Go ahead and bling it out. And that's what I'm waiting too. for because she said she bling everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She bling everything. So I'm waiting to see that one. <laughs> yep. I, I'm working on something here. So okay. it'll be something for you. For the ladies and... Um, 
Fat Ash is also on Instagram. Y'all go follow uh, Fat Ash mm-hmm. on Instagram as well. Yep. Oh, I love the fact that there is a following, not just one place, it's everywhere. And it's, it's everywhere. good to know that some of the people that I've run across actually follow Fat Ash. So mm-hmm. I I know quite a few people now here in this city. So that was that's even that's good to know because I can just keep when I start you getting back out, it's like you can meet up with them. It's definitely, yeah. a, it's definitely yeah. a movement, and uh, that's one of the yes, things yes, I love. Yes, that about. it is. That it is, and we yes, can we can speak enough about women. that one. It, it, yeah. It's a phenomenal group. It is phenomenal. Shout out people in the love. Well, there's uh, people in this group that I haven't even met yet that I feel like I'm close with, and they're my yeah, family. Yeah, we're family. It was family. It's family. Yep. And and I can't say that about other groups, but I can definitely say it about this one. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. I even see a lot of other groups kind of uh, mimicking. Trying to follow that trend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to follow I that trend. Nah. Where did you get that from? <laughs> yeah. So I, I love it. It's definitely um, a family feel. It's in, uh, I love that about it. Yep, that it is. <laughs> Reggie, you back? I am back. Thank you, ladies, so much. You are awesome. Uh, and I appreciate the shout out, Nia. Uh, we are on every Thursday with great new interviews. Look out for a great interview coming up in a week or so with a brother named BK Jackson on the uh, Stickman <laughs> yeah. podcast. He's a, he was a <laughs> former saxophonist for Prince, and he is a cigar smoker. So he and I chopped it up the other day. Look okay. out for that. Said, okay. I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Um, I owe y'all a huge apology. It seems as though I put the wrong uh, uh, Zoom number in the on the event page. So that's okay. You just need an assistant. See, I'm that's I'm, all you, I'm like, you know, you know me, I got you. You know me, I got you. Monday through Friday, see, Monday through Friday, nine to five, I'm available. Look, you know, I'm trying to. Please. I be trying to tell y'all I need all this help. That's why I be up to two o'clock in you. the morning. We got you. Goodness yeah. gracious. Well, between me, you, and Reg, we're going to get it again. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got Yeah. Got Goodness you gracious. No, no, I do apologize. No. Me and Nikki, I don't know what happened to Nikki. Nikki, we was in the group like, Nikki was like, I'm waiting. I, I was like, me too, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then then Hello. Nikki video video called me and oh, I was like, oh Lord. I mean Kyoka called me first. Uh Kyoka's oh, one that's of my right, child. She said she didn't have it either, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's one of my my childhood friends. We've known each other probably since I've been the fourth or fifth grade. Oh wow. Uh, mm. So so we awesome. so we go back a long way. But uh so that is my sincere apology. However, we will be able to uh, video it so others can see it. It still was a very good session, and from what I heard, and really appreciate everybody's uh, Great feedback. Job, and uh, so the next one we have coming up is in two weeks, and uh, I can't remember the, the subject, but Reggie and I will will have it up uh, within the next little bit. But that's it. I mean, I appreciate everybody for being on the call. Appreciate. Uh, everyone for your input and most importantly appreciate you being a part of our family because as someone I heard someone say as I was getting on we are family yes we are and, and absolutely yes we are and that's, yes we that's are one of the, the biggest things you know I love and appreciate about the group is, is the family atmosphere and that's why we do the things that we do and that's why uh, your admins are so awesome because they ensure that the things and the vision that I've seen for the group, they're right in line with it. So I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'll post it in the group. I'm, going, I'm still going to do the drawing uh, for the shirt and I'll just post it in the group after Reg and I get off the call. Okay. Uh, uh, who's going to win the, the Fat Ash gear? Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you, ladies, again, Sherry. Awesome job. Thank you, awesome and thank job. you for joining and helping me out since I'm not I'm not smoking as of yet. I really yes, appreciate ma'am. you for that, Mia. I, I yes, appreciate ma'am. you for that. And all the other ladies, thank you so much for joining in. Even though we didn't get the stuff that we wanted to do with Cedric, we still had a good time here. Yes, thank ma'am. You. Very good. That's what's most appreciate important. It. That's what's most important. We had a good time. We did. We did. I feel like I've met, I've made new friends. And you did. Family. You did. You oh, met you family. Know, you, you met family. family. You met family. Yeah.
Yes, we family. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. You all enjoy okay. the rest of the Sunday evening. See some wonderful ladies. What now? You all enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. You, you too, Mia. You all Thank take you care. Be safe.